Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here. Well, we finally got some Colorado Mesa basketball back in the Valley tonight. First up, the women who are riding the nine-game win streak and still perfect in conference play. And tonight, they're facing off against a one-win New Mexico Highlands team. Let's get out to Brownson right now. Whatever Coach Wagner was saying before the game, it worked. The Mavs only gave up two points in the first quarter, and Daniela Turner was doing this. One of the team's 14 three-pointers on the day. Mavs up by 27 on the Cowgirls in the second, but CMU, they want more. Same place, different shooter, Kylan Rigsby nails the three. She led the team with 17 points and only played 15 minutes. Spirit squad jumping for joy, and how about some around-the-world action? Lots of good passing tonight, and Turner is going to be able to finish the job off with a floater. She had 16 points, but we have to mention Sierra McNichol. She was hustling and making plays in the paint. That's up and good for two. Mavs still up by a lot. She wasn't done. Almost the same play. And Turner gives it back to McNichol, who is cash money tonight. Mason merely made half of their shots during the game. Mavs win by 45 and extend the win streak to 10 games. They have CSU Pueblo tomorrow. Okay, now to the men's game. Tommy Nuno and the Mavs also taking on New Mexico Highlands, who are second place in the RMAC. A win tonight could go a long way and climbing the ladder, but it was Sammy Barnes Tompkins hitting the baseline jumper to open the game for the Cowboys, and they were playing a press to start the game. They get the steal and they kick out the Raquan Mitchell, who steps into the three ball, 5 0 start for the Cowboys. But CMU got it going. There's Ethan McKenzie hits up Michael Skinner for the alley oop layup. On the other end, Mitchell he finds Johnson and he gets to work over Colton Peterson. But the next possession, he would get a shot to make it up. A lightning quick pass from Nuno to Peterson from the yard. Give that man three points. He led the match in points at halftime. Here, more Mitchell. He drives into the key, then drains the long step back two pointer. Later, Georgie Dancer hits up the freshman Ethan McKenzie. Not the prettiest looking two points you'll ever see, but he finds the ball and finds the bucket later. Nuno. Finds the new addition, Ethan Richardson, making a first start for the Mavs, and here he is working in the paint and collecting his first field goal. Welcome to CMU basketball to the 6'10 junior from Fresno City College. More Nuno. Cowboys are looking for the pass, but Nuno, just like me at the McDonald's drive through quick and easy, count the layup. He finished with a triple double, giving the Mavs the first lead. Still more Mitchell here hitting the pull up three pointer, but despite that, CMU gets a 96 79 win. CMU now tied for fourth in the RMAC. It was a pretty successful.